Now chances are, if you made it here, you're the trickster in the family, the jokester in the group, or just someone that genuinely likes giving people bad gifts. You just checked out my last video with the top 5 best gifts of 2015, but you're looking to do something a little bit different. Well have no fear, I've got you covered, because here's a look at my top 5 worst gifts of 2015 for all the naughty ones in your life. First up, nothing says happy holidays, thanks for having me over today, than a nice bottle of air freshener. <laughs> what better way to say thanks to your host this season than giving them the ability to make their house smell like cinnamon or maybe even gingerbread? Sure, they just might just maybe think that you're trying to tell them that their house stinks or maybe that they do, but hey, it's the thought that counts. You tried? Next up is that box of chocolates that nobody really knows the name of and only really has one piece that anybody likes the taste of. I've seen boxes like the Whitman Sampler around for years. Have I ever had a piece of chocolate from it? Of course not. Nobody actually eats from these things. But you know, it's a cool piece to have sitting on the table until next year's holiday rolls back around, but you can always get them with a fresh box for a fresh year. <laughs> The next one is cruel, like so cruel it's awesome. Have a gamer in your life that really wants an Xbox One game or a PS4 game, or better yet, you just bought them a PS4 for the holidays. Well here's how you really get them. Buy them a game or two for the opposite system or like 2K from the wrong year. Nothing says I love you, now go and have some fun more than ripping open the package of the game they begged for and finding out they can't even play it. Well, I'm sorry, you're just gonna have to wait till tomorrow to exchange it. And to get them really going, tell them you lost the receipt. <laughs> so messed up. And now for a classic, a gift that nobody has wanted for years upon years, but yet it's still become a staple for the holiday season. A nice fruitcake. I don't know who came up with the sick idea for this piece of monstrosity, but I do know it makes for great paperweights, hilarious faces when you force your guests to eat it, and much more great fun. Plus, you never have to worry that they'll be out of stock, cause, you know, nobody wants them, so it's perfect. And lastly, I'm still hurt by this next and final gift idea. My parents have pulled this on me so many times, it pains me to this very day. So here's something from my family to yours. Take an incredible box and put a decent gift inside it. If you do this, you're a straight up savage, granting holiday dreams and wishes at one moment and as soon as they unwrap the gift, smashing all of their hopes in the most diabolical way. You get to enjoy seeing them pull off the fakest smile of all time, and yeah, you may honestly feel a little bad when they start crying, but hey, it's the holidays, it's funny, right? Wait, come on, really, stop crying. Well, there you have it. There's a look at my top 5 worst gifts of 2015 for all you Grinches and Scrooges out there. But if you have a sudden change of heart, you can always check out my top 5 best gifts right here on DT. But until then, happy shopping and most of all, happy holidays from everyone here at Digital Trends.